Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Senate released unredacted FBI text messages proves Trump was right entire time. We are now getting reports on Monday the United States released over 500 pages of Spygate scandal information to the public and once again Internet sleuths have unearthed the damning proof that the FBI was indeed engaged in Spygate long before they officially admitted they had been. As previously reported, according to far left-wing news outlet Politico, Comey confirmed back in March of 2017, while under oath, that the FBI investigation into the fake Trump-Russia scandal started in July 2016. But a new timeline now suggests that the FBI illegal probe was, in fact, going on during the peak of an alleged Russian campaign to destabilize the U.S. presidential race which left-wing outlets now claim actually helped elect President Donald Trump. A text message released yesterday by the U.S. Senate showed words that were redacted when the FBI released the same texts long ago. And as was originally suspected the texts show evidence of collusion and wrongdoing by Obama's FBI, and Obama himself. Some of the additional texts released yesterday were from the corrupt FBI investigator Peter Strzok to corrupt FBI attorney Lisa Page also known as the Lovebirds. They state the following. Here is more on the FBI Lovebirds and adulterers Peter Strzok and Lisa Page via Fox News. Newly revealed text messages between FBI paramours Peter Strzok and Lisa Page include an exchange about preparing talking points for then-FBI Director James Comey to give to President Obama, who wanted to know everything we're doing. The message, from Page to Strzok, was among thousands of texts between the lovers reviewed by Fox News. The pair both worked at one point for special counsel Robert Mueller's probe of alleged collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Page wrote to Strzok on September 2, 2016 about prepping Comey because POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. According to a newly released Senate report, this text raises questions about Obama's personal involvement in the Clinton email investigation. In texts previously revealed, Strzok and Page have shown their disdain for Republicans in general, as well as Trump, calling him a f-ing idiot, among other insults. Among the newly disclosed texts, Strzok also calls Virginians who voted against then-FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe's wife for a state Senate seat ignorant hillbillies. That text came from Strzok to Page on November 4, 2015, the day after Jill McCabe lost a hotly contested Virginia state Senate election. Strzok said of the result, disappointing, but look at the district map. Loudoun is being gentrified, but it's still largely ignorant hillbillies. Good for her for running, but curious if she's energized or never again. Senator Ron Johnson Republican Wisconsin, along with majority staff from the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, is releasing the texts, along with a report titled, The Clinton Email Scandal and the FBI's Investigation of It. The newly uncovered texts reveal a bit more about the timing of the discovery of hundreds of thousands of emails on former Congressman Anthony Weiner's laptop, ultimately leading to Comey's infamous letter to Congress just days before the 2016 presidential election. On September 28, 2016, Strzok wrote to Page, got called up to Andes, McCabe, earlier. Hundreds of thousands of emails turned over by Wiener's attorney to STNY, Southern District of New York, includes a ton of material from spouse, whom Abedin. Sending team up tomorrow to review. This will never end. According to the Senate report, this text message raises questions about when FBI officials learned of emails relevant to the Hillary Clinton email investigation on the laptop belonging to Weiner, the husband to Clinton aide whom Abedin. It was a full month later, on October 28, 2016, when Comey informed Congress that, due to recent developments, the FBI was reopening its Clinton email investigation. In connection with an unrelated case, the FBI has learned of the existence of emails that appear to be pertinent to the investigation. I am writing to inform you that the investigative team briefed me on this yesterday," Comey said at the time. The question becomes why Comey was only informed by his investigative team on October 27. If the Clinton emails on Wiener's laptop were discovered by September 28, at the latest. Other texts show more examples of the official's opposition to Trump. On Election Day 2016, Strzok wrote, OMG this is fuck ing terrifying. Page replied, OMG, I am so depressed. Later that month, on November 13, 2016, Page wrote, I bought all the president's men. Figure I need to brush up on Watergate. The next day, November 14, 2016, Page wrote, God, being here makes me angry. Lots of highfalutin national security talk. Meanwhile we have our task ahead of us. Page's meaning here is unclear, 
but according to the Senate report, coupled with Strzok's August 15 text about an insurance policy, further investigation is warranted to find out what actions the two may have taken. The last text is from Page to Strzok, and comes on June 23, 2017, when she wrote, Please don't ever text me again. It's unclear whether she was mad at her friend, or if she suddenly became aware that they, and their thousands of texts, had been discovered. Now keep in mind this is only the second day we have been able to see the 500 pages of documents being released by the U.S. Senate. I bet if we give us a few more days, who knows what's in there and what today's Senate hearing with corrupt Obama FBI agent Bill Priestap will reveal. Maybe we will get to see Comey, Hillary, and Barack Hussein Obama behind bars, and there would be no better person to put them there than President Donald Trump, who wouldn't pardon them in a million years. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.